Main engine start. We are go for main engine start. B minus six. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope. Our window on the on April 24, 1990, NASA launched an instrument destined to change humanity's view of the universe and our place in it. Conceived early in the 1940s and eventually built in the 1980s, it was to become known as the Hubble Space Telescope. Designed alongside the Space Shuttle, these two programs would forever be entwined. The Hubble took full advantage of the shuttle's capabilities filling its school bus-sized cargo bay to the brim with scientific potential. Linking Hubble to the Space Shuttle would later prove to be vital to the new Space Telescope. Designing it to work with the Shuttle meant that Hubble could be improved and repaired and allowed it to become the longest-lived instrument in orbit. Two days after launch, Hubble was placed into orbit and the most powerful telescope ever built came to life. Soon after its first images were sent to Earth, it quickly became apparent Hubble had a problem. Its flawed optics made it nearsighted, and as the engineering team worked tirelessly to fix it, astronomers got to work using Hubble to study the cosmos. In spite of its difficulties, Hubble was still able to do important science. A repair mission, the first of four over Hubble's lifetime, was planned. After the work of thousands of dedicated people, years of preparation, training, and seven brave astronauts, Hubble was repaired. Installing a corrective optics package known as CoStar, Hubble was now poised to make some of the most groundbreaking astronomical observations in history. One of Hubble's earliest and most profound discoveries was its precise measurement of the age of the universe. Using a very special kind of massive and luminous star known as the Cepheid Variable, a star whose pulses correspond to their intrinsic brightness, which allows us to measure their distance, these galactic yardsticks were used by Hubble to measure distance on an unimaginable scale. By understanding distance and the movements of galaxies away from each other, we can calculate the age of the universe. From Hubble's very precise measurements of Cepheid Variables, astronomers calculated it has been 13.79 billion years since the expansion of the universe started. Not only was Hubble designed to find the age of the universe, it was also used to find arguably one of the most exotic objects in our universe. A dark, hyper, compact dead star. A black hole. How a star dies depends primarily on how big it is. Stars that are at least 20 times the mass of our sun die in titanic supernovae. Inside these detonations, their cores collapse. There is so much matter in such a tiny space, gravity overwhelms all other forces, and nothing can escape the collapse of space-time around the singularity. These were predictions found in Einstein's equations of relativity. Hubble confirmed their existence in the early 1990s, but it did not do it alone. Several ground-based and space-based telescopes worked in tandem with Hubble to help us understand these strange and powerful objects' origins. As our knowledge of black holes grew, we learned that at the center of most galaxies is a supermassive black hole that seems to interact with the rest of the galaxy's structure. These supermassive black holes are hundreds of millions of times more massive than the Sun. This research extends to the present day and because of the groundbreaking observations of Hubble, entirely new studies of astronomy have been created. Hubble continues to give us new insight into not just the deaths of stars, but their birth and where we all come from. In an attempt to try and understand how many galaxies may actually be in the universe, astronomers pointed the telescope to a spot in the sky where nothing appeared to be. No stars, no nebulae, nothing. Thousands of galaxies filled the image. Every point of pale yellow and red light in this image is an entire galaxy, 
each one with billions of stars. This is the original Hubble Deep Field, one of the most important images ever taken. After this stunning image, Hubble made more deep fields, each looking deeper and more clearly than the last. Recently, one was taken using Hubble's uniquely sensitive ultraviolet capability, and it is currently making six more with the Frontier Field Survey, designed to answer the question, are there deep fields everywhere? No other instrument ever built by humanity has changed and sculpted our view of our place in the universe than the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble has shown us firsthand just how big the universe really is. Even in the hunt for life, Hubble has led the field in being the first to directly image a planet outside our tiny eight-planet neighborhood. Using Hubble's different lenses and instruments, astronomers pulled apart the faintest of light reflected off these worlds to find some of their atmospheres held water. Through the work of Hubble and other telescopes, astronomers believe there are one and a half times as many planets than stars in the Milky Way. There is no reason to think this wouldn't be true for the innumerable other galaxies in the universe. Given the extraordinary number of other planets out there and that the chemical makeup of life so closely mirrors the distribution of elements in the universe, the confidence that we are not alone is growing. The question is, where is it? Before Hubble, we had no idea there were galaxies everywhere you looked. A hundred billion galaxies strewn throughout eternity, with each galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars, and likely trillions of new worlds. After all of this, it would be enough to say Hubble's place in history is secure, its work finished. But humankind in our quest for knowledge once determined cannot be deterred. So too with the Hubble. Its journey of discovery looks to the horizon of the next decade and a new companion gazing to the stars, new worlds, and the first light to grace the vastness of the cosmos. In 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope will be launched and work alongside Hubble, looking farther back in time and more clearly through space than ever before. When the day comes to say goodbye to our dear friend, sometime in 2025 if nothing is done to save it, its place in history will be truly secured having passed the baton of discovery to the next generation. But until that day, Hubble will continue to increase the area of our knowledge and the circumference of our ignorance.